This class will share with you the network architecture function of the project. On the project manager page, select the project to be set up. Click network structure and enter the configuration page of the network structure. Select the project here. Enter the engineer and the password. Click OK. Go to the network structure configuration page. Network structure is also known as system structure, mainly used to build the network structure of the entire project and the engineer's configuration permissions and the global parameters. In the network structure, under a project, multiple sub projects can be created. For example, we can create multiple sub projects here. Below each subproject, we can also create operation nodes and separate data servers. And here in the engineer, engineer permissions can be configured. Increase the engineering team and the engineer login password and configuration permissions. Common default settings. We can configure parameters that affect the whole world such as the number and address of the clock synchronization server and unit configuration. The units in the database are all added here. System scale. A project can support up to 16 sub-projects. 250 operation nodes. A subproject can have at most one server group. The number of servers is at least one. You can set up to two. And 60 operation nodes can be added. And 30 to single machine nodes. Here in the engineer, we can set the name and description of the subproject. You can also assign permissions to the engineers of the current subproject. In the Internet settings, you can set whether to have dual network IP redundancy and some status information. For example, the last modified time, whether it is locked. If it is locked, need to save to configuration server. Select the subproject link. If there is a small lock here, it cannot be edited in the locked state. Right click on the subproject. You can add some corresponding operation nodes, such as operation node. You can add multiple operation nodes. For a single sub-project, we can also export the sub-project and import sub-project. There are also some other nodes, which are not required to be added at present. Generally, we can keep the current server group and operation node architecture able to meet the requirements of the project. For operation nodes, under a project, up to 60 operation nodes can be added. Click on the server group. You can see the server properties, including the server name, description, and the number of servers. Here. What matters is whether this architecture is a redundant architecture. When we set to, the second one acts as a redundant server. Common is one. The server node can also act as a node for the engineer station.
it can be used as a real-time data server or historical data server. Under one project, there can be multiple engineers. To manage the project and configuration, engineers can set up password protection. Right-click here. We can add engineer group or engineer. Click OK. Project Management Authority. Permissions to modify entire project properties or network architecture. The subproject has the authority to decide whether to resist the project or not. Configuration can be opened in Configuration Management software. Publish the project or close the subproject and other operation permissions. Right click to set a password. Here you can enter the old and new passwords. Confirm the new password. The admin of the project cannot be deleted. Each subproject has at least one engineer has the permission to manage the project. Common default settings. It is to configure certain parameters that affect the entire project. It mainly includes clock synchronization server, its quantity, attributes, and unit configuration. and email settings functions. Clock synchronization server can achieve, synchronize the time of each node in the LAN, configure at least one clock server per project. Here we can set the address of the clock synchronization server whether this internet is redundant. We can set up multiple clock synchronization servers, but at the same time, only one is the main clock synchronization server, and the others are used as backups. And in this project, you can implement unit configuration. All bit numbers need unit configuration. We can add new units below. And the default number of decimal places. Of course, you can continue to add more. The gray ones are the system default units. They cannot be modified on this interface. The added units cannot be repeated. The serial number cannot be manually entered. They are automatically added by the software. After the addition is completed, will be synchronized to the database of the configuration development software. There you can choose the unit information we add. The system can send alarms of the bit number to the user's email address. You can set the information of the sending email 
and the receiving email address. You can add up to 50 addresses to receive emails. Here we can set the send mailbox, such as server node, SMTP address, and the account and password of the sending email. The SMTP port can only be a number, which should be bound to the email address. Click Add in the pop-up dialog box. Enter the receiving email address. Finally, the address of the configuration server. The default network card of the local machine will be automatically retrieved. The above is the explanation of the network architecture function.